testing at a sixth grade level to a ninth grade level in one year using Saxon Math. This is going to be a review of Saxon Math 7 6 from 2021 because I did a review before we actually had used the program. I did a review a week or two in, and now we have completed an entire year from 2020 to 2021 using Saxon Math, and I have a much um, broader view, and I have fallen even more in love with it, and it has been an incredible asset to my family in the math department. So let me tell you about Saxon Math and give you an updated review of Saxon Math 7.6. I'm going to speed through some of the most important things like cost. It's $188.51 on the Sunlight website. However, this comes with three books, two that are not consumable, one that is consumable, and a DVD. I bought the whole package, but you definitely don't have to do that. So the ones that aren't consumable, you can use for other children if you have them, and if not, you can resell them and get a lot of your money back for the ones that you didn't write in. The one that is consumable, I have family members that just copy this, and so you could use it for future children. We're just actually pulling out because the consumable copy is only maybe $13, and that just didn't seem worth it to me to copy every single page when I could just tear it out and give them a page and then buy a new one for my other kids. So to sum up, you definitely do not need to spend $188. You can buy them piece by piece. You can buy just what you need and you can definitely skip out on the DVD because we didn't even pop that thing open once this entire school year. Okay, so it comes with the student textbook and the solutions manual and both of these you, they're technically not considered uh, consumable, the student workbook isn't, but my child does all of his work in a notebook. So he looks at the questions in the student workbook and then he puts the answers into the notebook. So it really is a very consumable product, be, or sorry, it's not consumable because uh, he can just reuse it. We can reuse that one as much as we want. So the first thing I have to say is that my child was starting seventh grade last fall, fall 2022. So he went through Saxon 7 6 from 2020 to 2021 and he ended the school year three grades higher than he ended 2020 when we were doing teaching textbooks. If you want to learn more about our experience with teaching textbooks, I'll put a video up here. That was crazy. Um, but Saxon Math with just me, no tutor, he went up three grades. This is another reason why I love testing yearly, which I talk about in another video, but it's something that really helps me to know where my kids are at and see how they're performing, but also seeing how much they're understanding because that's really what matters. Like, what are they actually grasping? What are they, what concepts do they need help with still or um, where they might be struggling, but where they're excelling. And for me, seeing those numbers, seeing that massive jump in his grades from sixth, he was testing at a sixth grade level to testing at a ninth grade level, that was massive for me. And it made sticking with Saxon basically a no brainer because we're absolutely gonna keep doing Saxon especially since he's understanding it, I'm understanding it, it's easy for me to teach him. And like I said, we haven't even used the DVD that came with his lesson because we haven't needed it. He's doing so well without it that there's just no point in having that extra thing. The workbooks explain the problems really, really clearly. And because he and I are both learners that just do better from reading versus seeing a video on it, I can't explain it because normally you think seeing is better, but actually just reading it we're able to understand it a lot more clearly. And this has been massive in being able to learn math at a, a good, healthy rate and also an enjoyable rate. Like we're actually enjoying math for the first time in quite a while. Some of the things that children don't like about Saxon is that it is very repetitive. You've got a warm up, you've got a practice, and then you've got your actual lesson. And on top of those things, you also have the consumable worksheets I mentioned. So it can be a time consuming process. So every single day in your lessons, you're still practicing something you learned in a previous lesson and implementing the new things you learned. And I love that because it's just really helping him to remember every day rather than learn one thing, move on to this, but then you've forgotten this or this, whatever happened in a previous lesson. I love that Saxon teaches it in a way that is reminding him of what he's already learned and building on that rather than having, you know, teaching one lesson and then moving on and hoping he remembers it at the end of the year, which of course you don't, because if you don't use it, you lose it. So at the end of 2020, <laughs> I had felt discouraged and was really like focused on finding a better math 
program and a better fit. And I found that with Saxon. Saxon has been an incredible fit. And it also kind of validated like what I thought we would do better with. It validated the type of learner that I thought that he was. And that was definitely a uh, written learner. <laughs> he learns by the written word. So seeing that kind of transpire and how he went from, you know, testing at like a sixth grade level all the way to a 9.8, which was amazing. I was so happy with that. And he was really happy with that. He was really proud of himself. He was able to take that test and feel really good about his results and a lot more confident in his math skills, uh, as opposed to the end of 2020 when he was feeling a little bit less excited and encouraged about his math. So my summary of Saxon math seven six would be absolutely go for it if you guys are a yeah. if your child is better with written instructions and can gain more clarity and then if there is too much repetitiveness if if your child gets bored with all the different worksheets and practice sheets and warm ups then you don't always have to do all those things we start out doing them and I'm not sure that we will do every single one of those throughout the whole year if he's continuing to progress as much as he is right now because I don't feel the need. I'm not going to try to have him do more than he actually needs to do if he doesn't want to, but I like that it's there in case you have a situation like we had where they were used to not understanding it and just kind of need to get back into the swing of a good math program and how that works and warming up your brain and then doing the practice sheets and then doing the actual lesson. I think that it can be a really good thing, but you have to do what works best for your family. I hope this review of Saxon Math 7-6 was helpful for you. If you have any thoughts, comments about Saxon Math and your experience, don't hesitate to put them below. I'd be super excited to see what your guys' experience was. I'm curious if everybody else loves it as much as I do because I really love Saxon. If you're not already subscribed, don't forget to do that because I don't want you to miss my next video. I'm making videos every single week about homeschooling, parenting, and books. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys really soon.